Hey everybody, this is Seth Iser. Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. No, I'm not dead, but I have a shoulder problem. Listen. I don't know if I can get that to sound on the mic, but that's been what's been going on with my shoulder and it causes dislocations and all that kind of shit. Anyway, I grind it off camera. That's an obvious statement. And I haven't been recording in so long that I sort of need to refresh myself. See where exactly I'm at? Oh, I know that much. But I think I know what I need to do next. I think the only two cities... I think Fuchsia City is where we left off. Because I surfed this way. This is gonna be a wild goose chase. And someone's already screaming, No, you dipshit mofo. Hi. They all look alike. That's the gimmick here. Interesting gimmick. But I actually advise battling these grunts. Because battling grunts is a really good way. Jasmine is the daughter of Koga. Why is that important? Jasmine took over the... Or Jenny. I, I can't tell you. I can't pronounce shit. Nah! This woman is the daughter of Koga. And she's the gym leader instead of Koga. There! I can speak! Hooray! I've been at it. I've been out of the game so long, I forgot how to speak words. Oh, Seth. You moron. Anyway. This is just good. The fact that these are lower level than usual kind of gives a nice refresher for me. Just to ee, just stick the tip in and let's ease our way in. That was very, very lewd. Stick a tip in and Pokemon. Yeah. Very, very lewd. But I know why I grinded, at least. I remember that much. I'm anticipating the last portions of this game, and I needed to bump up and level. And no, don't worry. I wouldn't do any evolutions off camera. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. Hi. Jenny. Yeah. That's the name. Jasmine. Wow. I got Jasmine on the brain for some reason. Uh. Uh, in case you haven't figured it out, yeah, poison types. They have some ground undertones to them too, but you're predominantly going to see poison types. Get your ground type Pokemon, get your psychic type Pokemon. That's your best bets. Sydney has been creamed. That's what she said. Anyway. Uh, considering what's coming up, I want to get fleas as much experience as I can. You have a penis. How could you be the gym, the female gym leader? What the frick? Hello, Sperm Bank. It's been a while since we've seen you. Goodbye, Sperm Bank. I guess you came up short. <laughs> Referencing past Pokemon Let's Plays, I already did, even though it was the only other Let's Play I've completed for the win. Yes. Oh, man. Your disguise was right on until you made that really bad reveal. So, like... Foo -foo -foo. Ah, I skipped one trainer battle. Oh, well. Doesn't matter too much. I'm kind of... She can, she can fly! Oh, 
piss. <laughs> She's starting with a damn crowbat. Can't use earthquake. Wing attack. I was afraid of <laughs> The fact that crowbat is outspeeding my level 50 fleas isn't surprising though. Crowbat is like one of the fastest, if not the fat, uh, this Pokemon you'll encounter in this game. You son of a bitch, why did you use Confuse Ray? I hate you. Why do I, why am I talking so low all of a sudden? In my anger. Ariados! Ariados! Also, your steel types match up well in the fact that they can't be poisoned at all. So, if you have one of the rare steel types, it's not a bad place to use them. But I'm speaking obvious. It is almost 4 in the morning as I record this. My arm is actually feeling good for once. So I'm probably going to record until I have to pass out. Weezing. Bye bye. Do 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 do. She's much lower than. She's lower than some of the Johto gym leaders. Like that's almost laughable. I mean, I kind of get why they did it, but I also kind of laugh at the fact, considering what you've been battling versus, you know. And she has the trademark Venomoth. Dire hit. I guess it was dire that she had to hit what she thought she was going to hit, but it, but I hit her in a dire manner. No, it's dire in a dire situation because she lost. That wasn't too bad. You're a tough one. You definitely won. Here's Soul Badge. Here's Soul Badge! Well, that doesn't sound as bad as some of the other grammatic, some of the other things I've heard. That's what she said. <laughs> You're so tough. I have a special gift. Oh, here is the first gym leader in the Kanto region that actually gives you something. That's a toxic TM, obviously. <laughs> Fuck those invisible walls, even though you can tell where they are. I can't... I can't wait for like the two. I'm actually getting two 3DS games here shortly. Obviously, the new remakes. I'm getting Pokemon and Omega. I'm getting the Sapphire remake. I'm probably gonna get the other uh, Ruby one soon, but I count that as one sphere. I'm also getting Persona Q because that game just looks very, very interesting, and I was a huge fan of Persona 3. And I have an idea for, well, way down the line, maybe, but I wouldn't mind playing that on camera for you guys, one of those Persona games. I don't know which one yet, but we'll figure it out. By the way... Part of the grinding was I battled a lot of these trainers off camera just to make it easier on myself. I mean, you're gonna have to fight them anyway, but like, I just want to show you that Kanto really hasn't changed very much. Hidden items are where you're expecting to be as well. Same as in yellow, more or less. 
I know you're I can hear you yelling at me. Why didn't you put these battles on camera? It was part of that really boring grind, guys. I'm sorry. I love playing Pokemon Crystal, but I also want to, you know, move on, and I don't want to bore you with random NPC battles on top of random NPC battles. That don't mean anything, you know? I'm... Talk to this guy. It gives you the Super Rod, if memory serves me correctly. Or one of the rods. But whatever. But it, this is an easy shortcut to Lavender Town or Vermilion City, right through here. Recognize it? They took away the gate and they just have it all one straight path now. But, I just wanted to show you that it hasn't changed at all. But, where are we going next? Well, it'd be, you'd have to go to Saffron, and you actually have to go west. You know where that's going. But, before we do that, because I'm scatterbrained, and it's 4 a.m. in the morning, and why not, let's go ahead and beat the crap. And I mean beat the living crap out of, uh, out of our special friend. If I haven't covered it, there's an old man in pewter that gives you a specific item. And I'm trying to remember where it was. And there's my Matians. That's because I don't... There's a clear bow. You know what? I guess I don't have it. I must have picked it up off camera once and resets or something. Oh, I can hear any of your comments right now. And it sounded like King from South Park. Was it this old fella? Ah, he came out of the way out here from Johto? That brings back memories. Uh... Oh, good. That is important for something we're gonna do later. We're not gonna do it right now, but we'll do it later, I promise. But since I did promise one more battle, even though we battled him on screen once already... Let's go kick the crap out of him. Why? I know you've seen it once, but it's just fun and free experience you should never ever turn down. That's, yeah. I don't have good, I don't have his exact team lineup down to memory, down verbatim, so... I see thee again! And you hope that you could battle me again because I kicked your ass. I know my vocabulary is crass, but again, I'll kick your ass. Meganium. I chose poorly because I didn't remember the, his lineup. <laughs> I really chose poorly. Tra -la -la -la. No! <laughs> Trollo all lives up to his name! Yay! Trollo all really lived up to his name on that one. That was excellent. Seek many feet. I don't think one fly is going to do it though. McGinnian has, has pretty good defenses. Oh, you fuckhead! Oh, that didn't recover as much as I thought. But you're still a fuckhead. Why? Because I am the authority in this Let's Play. <laughs> so if I call you a fuck, <laughs> I can't keep a straight face. Fuck. I guess that makes me the fuckhead now. Damn. Anyway. 
Typhusion has fallen. I really love Typhusion. It's a great sweeper. Just, I think it would have been overkill. <laughs> and for Alligator, I actually think base stats, if you go by the numbers, it's for Alligator and Meganium are actually equal at this generation. And they might still be equal now, but I don't, don't hold me to that. And because I am a troll at heart, I will use Thundershock. And knock you out with Thundershock. <laughs> because why the fuck not? Ew. That might that more or less just negated my paralysis. Uh, that might have been why I had some issues with the special attack. Light screen. At least some issues. Oh yeah! Take the You forgot light screaming up! Didn't matter too much. I lost. Darn. And for a free $5,000 every day. Why wouldn't you do this? You know? Now we have one more thing we have to do, and that's locate our last actual city. And then we'll call it a dit a park, I promise. This is turning out to be a relatively long park because it actually is 4 a.m. and I've stated. It's past four it's almost 4 a.m. twice now. And let me just show you how short this route is. Amazing! It should come up daylight here shortly. Yep. That, that just located Celadon City. Now I'm gonna hit pause for a minute. Well, because there is a Pokemon I do want to see if it's here. Well, it's actually exclusive to not you, Meowth. Nobody. Eh, some people like Meowth. I'm not one of them. You can only find it at the heart of night, so that's why I'm trying to hurry. I think the clock flipped and all that shit, or I might be a minute or two off, or whatever the... There it is! That's what I wanted to see. I just wanted to see a hand hour. You know what? I have a great ball to waste. Whee! Because I got no real way to catch it, but we can it naturally. Yeah, I... You could have told me that was going to happen, I know. It is a dark fire type. I like it a lot. Just, you get it so late in game, it's really hard to do anything with. But we have made it to Celadon City. Hello, Poliwrath. We remember this guy. But we'll explore this city and see how this city has changed next time. So I've been Seth Iser, you've been you, God, it feels good to say this, and I bid you adieu. Bye-bye.